Peace I leave with you. My own peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Good morning. My name is Catherine Sekoulis. I'm a graduating senior, and I'm a longtime member of St. Mark's. Here we are again on Youth Sunday, my last as an official youth at St. Mark's. And as I read the gospel for this week with last week's in mind, it all seemed quite fitting, even serendipitous. I am, as many of us are, closing a chapter of my life. This chapter, which shall be entitled High School, Ugh was an arduous journey. I found myself often crippled with feelings of being lost and alone in my struggle, as many, if not all, teens feel at this time. Ironic, huh? Something that was especially crippling was walking down the guidance department hallway with all the flags of all the schools that any student at Brian McMahon had ever gone on to go to. Dangling from the ceiling, it was a suffocating, claustrophobic pit of high expectations. Also, questions like, what are your plans for college? Do you know where you're going yet? In September and October and November, December, even January, we don't know. What are you going into? Do you have a career in mind? Ugh, these are frightening to a teenager and I'm noticing even to an adult who has been in their career for 25 years and is looking for a shift. I never knew how to answer these questions because at the time I didn't have a plan and I didn't know where I was going to school and I have trouble committing to a meal at a restaurant, let alone a career path for the rest of my life. <laughs> but instead of being harsh and rash and angry, I took to saying, I'm interested in a few places and where I end up is where I end up. I'm so sorry if I gave you that answer. I was panicking severely. And while this was my total cop-out answer, it held more truth than I realized at the time. Where we are is where we are supposed to be according to God's will. He has put us there to do his work or to find the work that he wants us to do. Often, this is not in accordance with our own plan for ourselves, and we fight it, not knowing that we are fighting God's own plan for us. Father Peter put it best last, last week in his sermon when he said that the meaning of life and the only thing that gives our lives meaning is love, divine love, and loving one another as Jesus loves us. So really, it doesn't matter where we go to school or what career path we choose, as long as we do what we do with Jesus' love in our hearts and in our actions. This is a common thought in my head as we approach our mission trip. Often I find that the work we are doing or the people that we are doing it with are not up to my expectations or I feel that we could be put to better use. What we do is all good if through it we are loving others as Jesus loves us. When I was especially distraught this year, my wonderful mother would remind me that no matter what, she and the rest of my family would always love and support me. I didn't realize it at the time, but this also included my church family here. The love here in this congregation is the love that Jesus was talking about when he made his new commandment. Knowing that God hates nothing he has created and that the people here will always love and support me and the rest of the youth on our paths makes opening a new chapter much less daunting. However, closing this chapter is not something that should be taken lightly. Many of you were at Vern Tunum's funeral here on Friday. What an awesome, beautiful celebration of life for a wonderful, loving man who was so dedicated to everyone and everything in his life. During the remembrances, Eric Tunum, his son, uh, said that when it was time for Vern to pass on, he was at peace with his family, his life, and his God. I think this is a perfect example of today's gospel in practice. Peace I leave with you, my own peace I give to you. This is also a perfect example of how I would like to close this chapter of my life and hopefully every chapter. At peace with the decisions I've made and with the person I have become and with the people that are left in my life. This year especially, I have questioned myself and whether I was at peace with these things. 
the jury is still out. But at the end of this verse, it says, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. Do not be afraid. This phrase comes up often in the New Testament, and that's because there's a lot to be afraid of in this world. But if we remember to love one another as Jesus loves us, and that God hates nothing he has created, we can find peace within ourselves and in our God so that we can open and close each chapter of our lives with love and joy in our hearts. Thank you.